So this happened today. Welcome to the Daily Profit series, where I use today's live trades to explain my thought process and methodologies to improve ourselves as option traders. The Dow dropped by 1,000 points, SPY corrected by almost 3%, and almost every major stock took a hit. Everyone's making a video about this supposed crash and no one's going to show a profit because nobody saw it coming. But I made about $3,500 profit. I sold four put option contracts for $16 per piece, which I bought at $7.31. Let me explain how. I will also explain what happened today and also how to prepare for what's ahead. I advise my Patreon members not to trade today on Black Friday because of historically thin trading volumes and shortened market hours that would not make for meaningful and impactful trading. And I'm glad I gave that advice, although because of a totally different reason. With the volatility of today, even if you guess the market right, you will not be able to put in a good filled order. So in short, what caused everyone to shorten their Thanksgiving holidays? Watch news of a new COVID variant that would threaten the recovery of the world economy. It was serious enough for the World Health Organization to give it an official label and convene a meeting on Friday to deliberate about it. What's puzzling everyone is that this news doesn't appear to be serious enough to warrant such market jitters and market correction. In the middle of Thanksgiving weekend, where there's only half a trading day to react to this news of a correction that happened even pre-market. And that's accessible to mostly institutional traders. Just for referential context, SPY dropped by almost 9 points pre-market with almost 3 times more volume than usual. Now remember, the mainstream media can't give complex analysis. They need a narrative that's easy to digest and not alienate their audience. A one-liner so that millions can understand what's happening. So the headline this time is, New COVID variant sends stock market crashing. It's too simple, actually. We all know it's something much deeper. In my earlier report this week to Patreon members, I warned that SPY, a market index, was overheated with RSI above 70 and at the top of the Bollinger Bands. Together with news of a December tapering event, I was expecting stocks to correct slightly before the historic Santa Claus rally, which was made even more possible because of higher consumer spending. So I bought a put option on Monday, where the SPY had trouble reclaiming above 470 with date of expiry on 17 December. Planning to close this position in the first or second week of December, with the expectations that institutional investors will use the sentiments of December's tapering possibility to correct the market slightly before buying on the cheap for a Santa Claus rally for higher profits. This was a swing trade strategy, not a day trade. Then came this COVID news. It's perfect story to influence a correction. WHO said they will need two weeks to properly discuss this issue. It's really perfect timing. So I closed my position yesterday, earlier than expected, for $3,400 profit. Now the market is not predictable, and there are serious movers and makers out there who can manipulate the narrative. We as retail investors just have to be adequately covered with good risk management, good knowledge of the market, and skills and confidence to join in this market frenzy. Uh, so what's next? Uh, firstly, a 2% drop is not a crash. It's a correction, and it happens all the time. A crash is when circuit breakers are activated, and that's when you should start worrying. Secondly, this was expected. A correction was expected. As I explained, SPY could not claim above 470 for long, and with news of a December tapering and the traditional Santa Claus rally, institutional investors will most certainly influence a small correction 
to maximize their profits later. Uh, thirdly, we are day traders. So it doesn't matter if the market goes up or down. We will find a way to profit from it. Uh, that's one of the advantages of day trading. No open positions subjected to such risks. If, however, you have open positions and are in the red this weekend, tell yourself it's only a 2% correction. It's not a crash. So don't panic. Regroup this weekend, rework on your strategies. Now take this time to do cost averaging. There's always an opportunity. So all the best this coming week. And for my Patreon supporters, I will be preparing a daily brief as usual for you before trading day starts on Monday to prepare you for the week. It's going to be a fun ride.